So now, you know, everywhere you go, you're going to see this required by law. What? A mask. Everywhere we go now, you're going to see it. Whether you're in the grocery store, if you're in your favorite beauty supply, you're going to an auto store. You know when you go to your favorite place to buy your favorite little sandwich, you know that shop everybody have to go to and you have to sit out there and wait for your sandwich. Don't be sitting there mad. Don't be mad because you know you want your favorite sandwich, right? Go ahead, put a smile on your face and wait for your sandwich. And the other thing that we must do, we got to practice social distancing. Please don't do and cut up like the young man at the post office did. Well, I'm all right outside. Y'all just call me. I ain't, you know, I'll just wait. All right. All right. Well, you know, I went to the post office and while I was in the post office trying to uh, mail a package, uh, a young man was in there. He was in line. He got out of line. He came back. He was very disgruntled. And what he did, he had his, um, he had his mask and it was around his neck. You know, when I walked in, I had my mask on and I made sure I pulled it up over my face once, you know. Because it was a lot of people. Not a lot of people, but it was people in there and there. Like the um, the thing that was showing on the ground how we should stand while we're in the post office. That's what that's what it was showing. So, what he did, um, <clears throat> somebody said something. And he said, oh, I don't want to get too close. So, I was trying to get an envelope to put. I needed a big bubble envelope to put my my things in that I was going to be mailing. And uh, I had said to the lady, um, do you mind? I said, I have on a mask, but do you mind if I go past you to get what I need off of this rack? Because now they have more stuff out so that people can get what they need without having, you know, a lot of back and forth and what have you. So um, I got my envelope and everything and and the lady said excuse me um because the guy did something he he got kind of close and he didn't have his mask on so the lady said she said well um i'm 66 years old i don't want to be getting sick and um he was like oh y'all y'all around here tripping like oh, y'all scared y'all gonna get the cooties i said oh the cooties i said and everybody in there said oh we haven't heard that in a long time and so clearly this guy was like in his late 20s, maybe early 30s. And he, he, he began to say, uh, <coughs> yeah, the cooties. But um, my thing was, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to cause anybody else to become ill, nor did I want to become the one lady said, she said, I'm 66 years old. I don't want, I ain't got time to be getting sick. And which I fully, fully understand. You know what I'm saying? I fully understand. So sometimes people, uh, you know, they need to do what the signs say. They need to stay cool. And he was kind of getting, trying to go off. And he thought it was really funny for him to say <laughs> and call. And didn't have his mask over his face inside the post office. You know, it's a mandate in different states that we now wear a mask. You know what? If you don't care about yourself, you know what? You're not going to care about nobody else. Joking, playing, staying, or whatever. But one thing about it, it's real. The, this, this stuff is real. And for somebody to actually not care about another human being's life. I mean, I mean, close. 
So that's my little, we gotta wear these masks. I mean, you know, my old people gonna die, people gonna die. Yes, what? Not on purpose. I may die, but it won't be on purpose. Stay cool. Okay, y'all, take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Wear your mask. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.